My name is James Sides. I was a staff sergeant in the United States Marine Corps. I was an EOD tech, and uh, this is the IMES prosthetic system. People think it's just a, a dummy prosthetic until I move it. And then if they ask, I tell them what's going on, and I, I can talk about it all I want. It doesn't, they, don't, they don't tell me not to talk about it. So I tell them what happened with the surgery and then how it works and everything, and everyone's always just amazed. More, more times than not, people are amazed and freak out when I shake their hand. And it's, it's been a lot of positive reaction. The reaction is more for the, for the IMES because of I can move my thumb, and it's all simultaneous now. People that know a little bit about the prosthetics kind of know that that's not possible, and then this one it is now. I have two main, two main prosthetics, a myoelectric and a body-powered. The body-powered is, is put on, and I wear a, I wear a figure eight harness. It's like a gun holster on, around, my sh around my shoulders and arms. And then there's the cable going from the terminal device to the middle of my back. And all I do is pretty much extend my forearm, and it opens up the terminal device. So that's body, it's they call body power. It's the oldest, it's still in use. It's the oldest set setup. It's probably 100 years old. This is, this is the Mayo, and it runs off electricity and battery power. I can, I can open and close. I can rotate. And, and, I can and I can move my thumb now independently. So there's a, there's a third move, freedom of movement there, and then I can do it all simultaneous. The sensors are, are integrated into the, into the outside of the myoelectric, and then they sit on uh, certain muscles on your forearm based on your injury. So for me, and they work with you. They, they have a couple of programs, and they attach sensors to your forearms, and they find out where your strongest muscle points are, and then they build the, the myoelectric around that. So with my myoelectric, if I'm sw sweating, null and void, it, it messes up the, the sensors because they get wet. So my hand would go would kind of freak out and start doing this, open and close, and so in the summertime, I quit wearing it. I couldn't use it because I was just sweating so much. And then with this one, I can sweat all day and there's no interference because there's no sensors touching the skin. There, there's eight of them implanted in various in the various muscles of my forearm. In your actual muscles? Yes, within the muscle, yes. So I got like a, a candle, and if I want to grab something, I just grab and I more, more times than not, I can visually see it and I know how much pressure to apply. If I really need to grab onto something, it will allow me. It'll allow me to apply more pressure, but it does it one finger at a time. It's pretty neat. This is a latex glove on the outside of this, and it's 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 pretty sticky as well. So it offers even more grip. But um, shaking people's hands, I just I give it the full power. It's got, it's got a pretty sturdy handshake. And then, like I said, depending on what I'm picking up, I I know now how much pressure to apply, and it's not a constant force when I. When I close and I stop, it stops where I want it to stop. And then I can just keep closing if I need to. The same thing with opening. Like if you're holding something and walking down the street, you're not thinking in your head, keep squeezing, keep squeezing, keep squeezing. So the same, same thing with this. So when I grab on something and I want to hold on to it, I, I visually check to make sure my hand's closed. And then if I need to walk, I can walk with something in my hand. It's not a big deal. I'm not I'm constantly squeezing my hand to keep it closed. 